Well, the president's words paired with the actions by NFL players is striking a chord with people all around the nation and right here in Colorado. On our Facebook page alone, a constant stream of people on both sides sharing their thoughts about the player's decision to kneel or not even participate in the anthem altogether. You might remember about a year ago, a man here in Colorado Springs got attention when he canceled an autograph event for Brandon Marshall at his sports shop. Instead, he created this wall with pictures to honor veterans inside his store. And News 5's Allison Zimmerman checked in with that man today to find out his thoughts on all the attention athletes are getting. Hi, Allison. Hi, Eric. Yeah, Stephen Martin says his stance hasn't changed. He believes these players do have a right to demonstrate their opinion, but he believes it should be done differently. Yep. Gladly give the military discount. Thank you. <laughs> Almost exactly one year ago, Stephen uh, Martin received a flood of calls, emails, and texts after he made a decision to host Brandon Marshall at his store. I was called a racist bigot. I was accused of being a member of the Ku Klux Klan. You know, how dare you cancel? And after he set up this display honoring veterans instead of hosting the Bronco, he says he's noticed a wave of support from his clientele. Literally 100% of the people that have been in this store on the floor that have looked me in the eye have been 100% positive. With the response from athletes continuing, the controversial topic of football players using the national anthem to show their opinion is one that still strikes a chord with many. Well, I don't like it one bit. Even the president of the United States. Hey, get that son of a up the field. The Washington Post reports the NFL game operations manual does say players need to be present on the field for the national anthem. The current NFL rulebook found online doesn't mention the national anthem, but it's not stopping athletes and teams from sharing their thoughts. We decided to sit it out, uh, to not take the field, um, to, to remove ourselves from it, to focus on playing football. For Martin, he says he can see why the athletes are doing it. I agree that there is social injustice in the judicial system and in the police force. I think there's evidence of that. Um, I think it's a legitimate cause, but their form of expression is not the way to do it. In the meantime, I want our voice to be heard. When Martin took down the wall last year, he said there was one moment that made him want to put it back up again. I hear this little girl voice on the other side of the glass, and she said, that's my daddy. That's my daddy. And it never forgot it. Martin says he's still working to get approval from the mall for that memorial to put it back up, but he hopes everything will go back up sometime in October and he'll be able to take it down after Veterans Day. Eric.